Hey everybody, welcome back to our continuing series on building your own DSLR rig, uh, specifically aimed at GH2 owners. Last time we talked about the follow focus that I got as well as the rail system, and in that video I said that the next thing I was hoping to get was an external monitor for focusing, and that's what I got, and I'm really excited to share it with you. I chose to go with the Lilliput 569HO. It's a 5 inch monitor. I chose a 5 inch over a 7 inch because the GH2 is a really small camera already and uh, I really wanted a monitor that was going to complement the rig and not overwhelm it. So 5 inches turned out to be just perfect. This thing really goes well, um, which you'll see in a minute once it's all hooked up. But yeah, this is the Lilliput 569HO. Uh, the HO is important because there's two models of this. You'll see HO has an HDMI in as well as an HDMI out, which is really important for me because that means you can feed another HDMI cable to a bigger monitor or a TV so that the camera operator can be monitoring on this and then the director can be watching on a separate monitor entirely. The other model of this does not have an HDMI out, so be careful when you purchase. I got this from Amazon. They're also on eBay. Um, just be mindful of that. It comes with some really nice accessories. Um, again, I got this one from Amazon, and it was a bundle kit. So it came with its own mini HDMI to HDMI cable as well. And this is really nice. It comes with plate adapters. It came with two, one's for Panasonic batteries. This one is the Sony plate, and this is the one that I'm planning on using. It fits Sony style batteries. It also came with this battery. I have a bunch of these other ones too, which is why I want it specifically with that plate. It's the Sony F550. This isn't the actual Sony battery. It's an aftermarket one, and you can buy them pretty cheap online. So the bundle came with all of that. It also came with something that I wasn't expecting and was really surprised when I opened the package, and that is this arm. I didn't know that was even going to be in the package, and it is a huge bonus. This thing costs... I was expecting to pay $20, $25 to buy one of these separately, and it came in this bundle, and it is rock solid. It's attached to my actual rail system, screwed in down here into one of the open thread holes, and once you get into the position you want, and you twist this little knob here, it it's locked into place, and you can see it's moving the whole thing, and it's not going anywhere. So that was a really unexpected benefit, and something that's really essential. Some people will use the hot shoe on top of the camera and put their monitors in there but I really don't like to put that much pressure on the camera itself especially if I'm going to be you know tilting in up or down it's it's really makes me feel better to have a totally separate arm to hold the monitor weight itself so let's put this thing together so you can see what it looks like so you've already looked at the monitor there's three ways to mount this they have one fourth inch thread holes on the sides as well as obviously on the bottom, and that's what I'm going to use. Let's go ahead and put it on here, loosen the top just a little bit, stick it in the bottom here, and it's really easy. Once you loosen this knob, you can just turn this thing instead of having to twist your monitor all the way around until it gets pretty tight. And once it's where you want it, you can easily position it. Uh, obviously, I'd be pointing it this way if I was using it, but for your benefit, I will uh, lock it in place like so and it's really secure you know moving the whole thing it's, it's, it's really lightweight so there's really not a, a concern there the next thing to do is to connect your HDMI cable and again there's two inputs or there's an input and an output so the full-size HDMI cable goes in the HDMI in, like so, and go ahead and wrap this thing around, and the GH2 has its HDMI cable on the side here, it's mini HDMI. So you can thread this however you want, it's kind of a longer cable so it gives you a little more to work with, but once you get it where you want, it's connected. And now, to power this thing, again, as I mentioned before, you've got the Sony plate adapter. These F550s, even though it came with it, it, I've used it once and it only lasted about a little over an hour, not even quite an hour and a half. So these aren't really good for long term, but you can buy larger battery versions of this and they'll still fit in the same plate. 
So just put it in there. It locks in. Like I said, this is a plate adapter, so it's got its own battery connection here, which fits in to the back. You slide it in place like so. You click it in, and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I can show you performance wise, I mean, how it looks, you're really not going to be able to tell, um, you know, viewing it this way, but let's turn the screen on here and turn the camera on as well. And so it immediately connects, it recognizes my camera, uh, gets the 1080i signal. Go ahead and I'll focus on something over here so you can. This is my, so my music room as well as my video studio. So I've got my amplifier over here. It's just really helpful uh, with focusing. I mean, this monitor is only two inches bigger than the three inch flip out monitor I have here on my camera, but even that little difference helps so much with focusing on items that are close together or keeping tracking shots in focus, it's going to really be helpful. And uh, this is a really essential part of my kit and one of the main parts of this rig. And I'm happy with how it works. It works exactly like I was hoping. And the arm being included in the bundle was an unexpected surprise. So far, I'm really happy with how this stuff's turning out. This rig already, and I've only done this is my second video, and already the rig looks like it can be complete. You're probably wondering what's left to do, but I've got a few more things left to, to show you next time. Still planning to get something to mount my zoom onto the back here. That's going to be coming in the mail shortly. And I think in my next video, you may have already noticed, but this is not a Panasonic lens. This is a Canon lens, and I'm going to talk in one of our videos about adapting lenses from other manufacturers to your GH2. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, thanks for tuning in today. This is the Lilliput 569HO 5-inch monitor, and this is the growing DSLR rig for my GH2.